Um, here's the overall concept. It, this is a view uh, from a north elevation uh, with uh, obviously Ida as the main central focal point. To your right on that slide is part of an introduction of what the, the chapel would look like. And on the left-hand side is what the, a partial view of what the office building would look like. This is the elevation uh, from the west view uh, showing uh, the entrance, entrances into the banquet facility and also to the, um, uh, the chapel area. Uh, one of our goals is to create a lot of glass on the banquet uh, uh, facility simply because we envision it being lit up at night as cars go by. There could be art exhibits and other things in there that uh, could rotate and actually be a visual point of interest to, uh, as people pass by. Uh, this view is kind of a real conceptual idea of what the inside of the banquet facility looks like. Um, obviously, they're not designer chairs at this point, but this is what we had to deal with <laughs> with our programming. But uh, the actual space is what we're looking at, uh, though, and uh, as you can see, it's, it's a pretty vast uh, amount of space, and it's set up. Uh, we have uh, several um, managers that Ida's looking at to manage this facility and they've gave, given us some great ideas as well as some um, food service people so and this is just another view from the opposite direction uh, this is the elevation of the proposed second phase uh, building the actual office area uh, and retail spaces as you can see the slope of the ground uh, along uh, Blue Ridge Boulevard uh, allows us to actually have taller spaces uh, to, as we go south, but the actual office floors, the next two floors up, are all on this basically level, uh, uh, level plane. Here again, we're looking at a concept to uh, not just have one big large building, but to break the building down. And here again, uh, a lot of, th uh, Ed and I have been uh, lead component designers for the last 15 or 20 years. My own house has a ground source heating and air conditioning system, so this building will have at least a silver level, if not a gold standard uh, LEED certification. Not certified, but capability of. That's the goal. Questions of Mr. Gunther? Ms. Milson. Since 1999, I have listened to people say that we need to have a destination. Especially when we got the church area and people are like, what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do? You've got to have some a place where people will come, a theme, and it, some of those people wanted a theme-based kind of thing. And since this was presented, I've been thinking a lot about it. And I really can see the conceptual design of this so that when you build it, people will come. Weddings are always going to be here. People always, that's kind of one of those things that do survive the economic times because People save up for the weddings, you know, that's one of the big high points. And I really think that also that once the, you know, the bridal shop and the, the chapel and all that landscaping and, and stuff like that, I think too that on the business side of it, not only will that spark interest in Raytown's business community to kind of up their game, you know, because you always need rings and insurance and, you know, that could be, oh, I love Raytown, now I'm going to buy a house here. You know, there's a lot of that spurring on that can, that can come from that. So, and again, I've thought about this for a long time. I do think that, th that this is a concept that the, the staff needs to look into in every variety and question that we can come up with, you know, the but for kind of analysis and, and really take that chance because I do appreciate that a Raytown resident has stepped forward for a space that's been vacant. We all drive by it. A lot of times we don't see it anymore just because nothing's there. And, you know, to have that visualization of saying, you know, I wonder if, and then being able to conceptualize that into a plan like this um, I think there's a lot of questions that need to be answered. I think there's a lot of discussions. I think, you know, that's going to be one of those everybody comes to the table and kind of hashes it out kind of things. But I look forward to an end result and an end report 
to be able to come back to us and say, this is what we discussed and this is how we can work it. So thank you. Mr. Azer. Yeah, 10 years ago, I would have never dreamed that I could address this arena. Uh, but since that time, my daughter Jacqueline has been up for Miss Texas in the Miss America contest, uh, Miss Missouri Miss America contest, run up to Miss uh, USA uh, for Miss Missouri, and also was the cover girl for the Kansas City Metropolitan Bridal Magazine in 2007. Um, in that time, I've learned a lot about dresses. Matter of fact, I, I couldn't tell you so have we. how much we ever spent on them because my family forbid me to find out, and I really didn't want to know. But I will tell you this, in the course of just pageants, uh, if they sell pageant dresses, there are girls that came because they know where the best dresses come from, and they really know that whether it be a wedding or a pageant, that where you go to buy that dress may determine whether or not you're going to win or how well you look in a wedding. And so they, they are uh, drawn to particular designers. And I know that just in the pageants alone, they come from almost every county in the state of Missouri, Nebraska, Iowa, and Kansas uh, just to go to Johnson County with their pageant dresses that also sell wedding dresses. Um, and I think wedding dresses are likewise. And I found it quite interesting when I was recently in Japan for a wedding that uh, Tokyo, which is the largest, cleanest, and most uh, modern city of the world, this style of wedding is in vogue. So I don't think there's a question that this could have a huge impact on this city. Uh, I could see it not just as a drawing point, but a reason why we really might need a hotel. Uh, a specific designer in a place like this very quickly gets a reputation, not, not just in Kansas City, but we're talking about state after state. And people that want the best dress are going to go a long distance to get what they want. They do that. They've been doing it for years. Um, I might add also, just as interest, it doesn't seem like something that is a fit for Raytown, but quite interestingly enough, if you look back at the history of the state of Missouri, three of the former Miss Missouris were actually Miss Raytowns. Because Raytown used to be huge in the Miss America pageant uh, arena. Matter of fact, they even had a runner up to Miss America that was from Raytown. So this is a big business, but it's a big notoriety for the community. And I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's a, a bold step to choose this community. It's a great space. And yes, we want to make the very most of that space. I can't think of any other industry that can do any better than what we've just heard tonight. So I really support it, and I hope the staff